Hello, good afternoon. This is David Soto talking to you, and today is my weekly trade predictions for the upcoming trading week of October 19 through October 23rd, 2020. Okay, and what I'm going to do here is I will look at all the major Forex currency pairs on a, uh, on a one hour chart, okay? And this way, just so I can see what happened this past week, okay? We're going to examine what happened in the past week, and then we're going to compare that to higher time frames such as the four hour daily and weekly charts just so I can try to give you my analysis of what I think is going to happen this coming week okay so to begin with okay we need to look at euro USD here and we see that euro USD had dropped uh, most of the week okay then by by the by Friday it fizzled out okay we hit a strong support and then all Friday it just kind of was riding sideways now typically Friday is a slow day so I don't see a lot of movement, but we do not really see this going into uptrend. We do see it slightly going up. So it is kind of working itself into an uptrend. So the question now is, will it continue up for this coming week? Okay. Or will it drop back down? Okay. I know it has been dropped. It's been slated. It's been planned to drop for quite some time. So it going up now is kind of a shock. So let's look at the four hour chart. Okay. The four hour chart has a down arrow. Okay. And like I said, it's been doing this for a while now. Okay. It's been wanting to go into a downtrend for quite some time. And as we see here, we hit a pretty solid support and it is kind of slowly bouncing back up. Now, if we look at the daily chart again, we have a red down arrow, meaning that long term this will be dropping. Okay. And if we look at the weekly chart, again, we have a red arrow. So in the coming weeks, coming months, this will definitely be dropping. So if we go back to the one hour chart, it's showing to go up right now. But the four hour chart shows to go down. So <clears throat> what I think is going to happen is we look right here on the four hour chart, we have a resistance, okay, pretty solid. And if we drop down to the one hour chart, we see that resistance right there, okay. And let me resize that, okay. So I think, and I don't know, I think the price will come back, come back up to here. And once it hits a second time, it should form a red arrow to sell. Okay, I do not think we're going to have a big uptrend. Okay, this week. Now, if you look right here, there's another resistance that it could go to. Okay, so what I would do, okay, this is just me. What I would do is I would put a sell limit pending order like right in here somewhere. Okay, that way when the price goes up, it's going to activate a sell trade. And then drop back down for the kill okay that is the most effective strategy you can do for this week but regardless okay regardless what you can do this week is put your charts on a 30 minute time frame and trade from arrow to arrow um right now if you look on 30 minute chart we have a up arrow and it it would be safe to buy right at this very moment and wait for the next red arrow on the 30 minute chart and then sell okay and just repeat that process it should be more or less in the range of market this week okay i think in the following week we're going to see a, a big drop okay as the us dollar gains more traction if we look here on gbp usd okay this is the next one in line we see some good highs and lows here, but more or less there's an range of market where the price ended, you know, slightly lower than where it began. So yes, this price did was dropping. Now we had this support hit here. It, it did shoot up quite a bit and then came back down to that same level of support. Now it's starting to slowly work itself back up. We do not see any red arrows that have formed since this last blue arrow. So meaning, this should be going up okay and we mark this resistance right here that's where i think the price is headed okay
Okay, if we look at the four hour chart, the four hour chart again shows to sell. Okay, so we know long term in the coming weeks this is going to be dropping. Okay, but in the short term this is going to be going up. Okay, so do look for this go, to go up in the beginning of the week. Probably around Wednesday we should see a reversal and drop back down. So more or less we're going to see a range of market this week. We've got a lot of highs and lows. Put your charts on a 30 minute time frame and trade from error to error. Okay, very simple. All right. So right now on 30 minute chart is a good time to buy. Wait. Once you place the trade now, wait for the next red arrow, close the trade, and you repeat the process. Okay. Now when you get the next red arrow, just wait about three or four candles at least before you place the trade just to make sure the indicator does not repaint okay so just be patient and hang in there but it will be safe to trade from error to error this week using the 30 minute time frame if you look at the daily it's showing the drop and the weekly as well okay now the weekly does not have a red arrow but it did hit the same level of resistance that this hit before so yes this will be dropping long term okay so we can expect in the coming weeks coming months for this to drop but like i said this week we're going to see more of a range of market moving on to australian dollar versus the u.s dollar okay again we saw this drop this is just like euro usd we saw this drop and then by friday it fizzled out okay it just flatlined here and is not going into an uptrend so question again is it going to be going to uptrend or is it going to keep going down if we look at the four hour chart again we see a red arrow but it never formed a blue arrow okay now right now the mark the price is just stuck right here so is that a pretty solid su su support we can mark that support and we're looking for that to drop really okay and how far will it drop well there's another support right here if we zoom out okay mark that one as well so that's typically what we're looking for the price to drop down to here and then we will see another blue arrow form at that point okay because that's also a very strong support that it hit before if we look at the daily chart okay daily chart shows a drop okay so now how far will the daily you know how far will the price drop on the daily chart before it forms a blue arrow will it, will it form a blue arrow here or will it drop even further i don't know i do know it formed a blue arrow here in the past and if it drops down to that level that's a huge drop okay which depends on the u.s dollar if the u.s dollar gains this one will definitely drop okay so it is very very possible for the australian dollar to take a plunge you know and drop quite a bit maybe a few thousand pips but <clears throat> that's not going to happen right away okay that's going to take some time both these currency pairs australian dollar and the u.s dollar are very strong and they're both fighting neck and neck right now okay so do not count on this dropping anytime soon you know any huge drops what I think is going to happen this week is we're probably going to see more range of market. If I put the charts on a 30 minute time frame, okay, right now we see it's a good opportunity to buy. Okay, and more or less it's just riding sideways. If you want, just to be safe, we know that the long term trend is bearish, that it will be dropping. You can put your charts on a 30 minute time frame. Wait until you get another red arrow. Okay. I don't know you know i see right here there's a pretty strong resistance right here the price had dropped 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 here formed a support broke and it's gone back up to that resistance now and it keeps hitting that same resistance if it hits it again i think it will form a red arrow okay i'm not 100 percent certain but i feel pretty confident that it should form a red arrow and then you can sell at that point you're we're almost there already so you might as well just kind of wait until you get a red arrow on the 30 minute time frame and then sell. And really, um, unless this support breaks, 
I think we're probably going to be more of a range of market this week. Okay, so do watch for that support to break this week, but I also feel that it will be safe to trade from arrow to arrow. Okay, Just starting with a red arrow. So sell, close the trade on the next blue arrow, and then repeat the process. Okay, so just keep your charts on a 30 minute time frame and trade from arrow to arrow. Moving on to US dollar versus Swiss franc, okay, USDCHF. If Euro, Great British Pound, Australian dollar, all those are dropping, US dollar should be going up, okay? And which is a good thing, we need, we've been looking for the US dollar to go up for quite some time. And we do see now that the US dollar is slowly, slowly <laughs> making traction. It's starting to go up, all right? Now the price did shoot up a little bit here on Tuesday, right? And then hit a strong resistance, which I can mark. No big deal. Mark that resistance right there. And we see the price that dropped some and came back up to that same resistance and dropped back down. Has not broken. That's what we're looking for is for this price to break above and then it's gonna keep going, escalating. <clears throat> um, will it drop this week? Okay, if your USD is supposed to go up this week, this one should be dropping. Okay, <clears throat> and we see a red arrow and no blue arrow. So, do expect this to drop in the beginning of the week. I would, I would definitely expect it, but it would not be a huge drop. Okay, if we zoom out a little bit, we see here, we have a support here. Okay, we have a support here. So, I can mark this support. The price will not drop all the way down to this blue arrow. There's, there's just no way because it's already forming an uptrend, okay? So either this one or this one here, okay? I don't know. I'm, I'm leaning more towards this support and watch the price to drop here and form a blue arrow and come back up. So if you put your charts on a 30 minute time frame like this, now you see a lot more blue and red arrows, right? And that's what we're looking for, okay? Right now on the 30 minute chart, we have a blue arrow and it has not formed another red arrow. So I would keep it charged on a 30 minute time frame. Right now I would wait until you get another red arrow and then sell. And then again, when it form a blue arrow, buy again, just repeat the process, okay? Buy, sell, buy, sell like that. And you know, these, this is a good strategy because you will not have these trades open for days at a time, okay? Most of these trades can open and close Within 24 hours, okay. You see this one open October 14th, close October 16th. Okay, that's about two days. That's not bad. But this one here, open and close the same day. Same here. Same with this one, open and close the same day. So we want to try and have these trades open and close within a relatively short period of time, just to avoid a lot of swap fees. All right. So again, recap: U.S. dollar, Swiss franc. Keep your charts on a 30 minute time frame. Trade from arrow to arrow, you'd be perfectly fine. Um, long term, yes, it will be going up because the four hour shows to go up, the daily shows to go up, and the weekly as well. So we know long term this is gonna be going up. You could watch for that resistance on a 30 minute time frame to break. Okay, if it breaks, it's gonna go to the next resistance, which will probably be right around here. So do keep an eye out for that as well. All right, U.S. dollar, Japanese yen. <clears throat> we we see here more or less in a flat range of market, but the price did end lower than where it began, just slightly, and so that means you know it's kind of sort of in a downtrend. Okay, but more or less is in a flat range of market. There's a lot of instability between the two pairs right now, and so. They're both fighting to come back. Okay, they're both straining hard to come back, and the Japanese yen is not quite doing it. So we're going to see. We should be seeing an uptrend form this week. Okay, we already have an up arrow. It's already slowly working its way up. If we look at the four-hour chart, we have a down arrow, and but the daily shows to go up. Okay, the daily shows to go up and the weekly shows to go up as well. So what 
I take out of this is that long term this will be going up in the coming weeks and months. Okay, the four hour has a down arrow but no blue arrow. Okay, no up arrow. So what's going to happen? Well, in the beginning of the week, okay, in the beginning of the week, we're probably going to see the price go up, go up a ways. Let's see, we'll mark that resistance. We're almost there right now. So watch for the touch. This will be like in the beginning, in the open hours on Monday. We should see this touch and then drop back down. Okay. We also have a strong support right here. And that's what we're looking for, the price to touch this support. So really overall in the beginning of the week, the price is going to drop. Okay. Yes, um, it will go up slightly, but we're looking for the price to drop in the beginning of the week and then around probably Tuesday or Wednesday we're going to see a reversal okay usually around Wednesdays we see the strong reversals and we should get a buy signal okay another buy signal and what that will do is it will cause a buy signal or blue arrow to form on the four hour chart okay that is what I predict to happen okay I do not think the price is going to drop all the way down to here okay so we have the support here look for that price to drop in the beginning of the week or on the middle of the week form a support here and bounce back up once you get a blue arrow on the four hour chart you can hold that you can buy and hold for long term because it will be going up okay and if you look at here on the daily chart we're definitely looking for this to go into an uptrend okay so yes once you get a blue arrow you can buy and hold and hold that trade and get a lot of profit um us dollar versus the canadian dollar all right so this week uh well this past week we saw the price more or less right in a flat range of market like this but um the price did end slightly higher so that's a good that the US dollar is starting to make a comeback. Okay, the US dollar is definitely gaining traction. All right. And the US dollar versus Canadian dollar is a good indicator because both these behave very similar. Okay, they're both in North America and their economies are based on oil. So, you know, both of these are very strong currencies. So they quite often fight neck and neck. And right now we see the US dollar gaining more strength than the Canadian dollar which is a good sign for the US dollar. So what's gonna happen this coming week is we see here on the four hour chart that we're already starting to go into an uptrend, okay? So we can expect this price to keep escalating, all right, and keep going up. If you look at the daily chart, same scenario, we got a up arrow. But the weekly chart's a little bit different here, okay? We see the price, we have a blue arrow here, but no blue arrow here, okay? Meaning, the price had dropped but it did hit a pretty strong level of support okay which is not the exact same level as before which is the reason there is no blue arrow right there okay but just pretend there's a blue arrow right there and we should be seeing this going up long term okay and uh, you know I don't know how far but it's gonna take a long time the next few months definitely be going up so um what's going to happen this week okay we put charts on a 30 minute time frame we see right now we have a red arrow okay wait for this to drop on the 30 minute time frame or even one hour time frame doesn't really matter so much but um wait for a blue arrow to form and then buy okay and again what i think is going to happen is the price is going to drop in the beginning of the week we're going to see the us dollar drop you already see it dropping right here on the four hour chart okay and the one hour chart we can see a little bit clearer okay so what we're looking for is the drop form a support it is not going to drop all the way down to, to the same place as this blue here so what i think is going to happen we have a support here but we also have a resistance here Okay, so we have a resistance 
slash support. See, resistance broke and formed a support. Okay, the price here had dropped, 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 formed a support, bounced up, and then broke. So, this is where we are looking for the price to drop. Okay, now I'll give you a tip. You can apply this to other currency pairs. Well, I, what you can do here is put a buy limit pin in order just a little ways above okay between these candles and this line put a buy limit pin in order here so this way when the price drops it's going to activate a buy trade and then go back up and then you can place a take profit about three four hundred maybe even 500 pips above that way you can catch the profit on the way back up okay that is an excellent strategy okay but either way, if you put your charts on a 30 minute time frame this week, it will be safe to trade from arrow to arrow because more or less we're going to see a range of market with a slight uptrend, I believe. Okay. Um, right now, on a 30 minute chart, we have a red arrow, so wait for the blue arrow before you buy. Do not sell right now, okay? Wait for the next blue arrow and then buy, and then you can close the trade on the opposite red arrow, okay? so that is it and then you know you can trade from arrow to arrow it should be safe this week okay so anyhow that concludes my uh weekly trade predictions if you have any questions at all about these currency pairs that i went over or if you have any other currency pair that you want me to analyze okay please hit me up on facebook i put a link down below in the description of this video for my personal facebook please contact me there first okay also i put a link for my private Facebook group, so you can request to join my Facebook group, post any questions or comments in my Facebook group, and this way myself or other traders, we can assist you and we, we can all collaborate as a team. Okay, so that's my whole reason about having this group. So anyhow, I hope you have a, a wonderful week ahead, uh, trading, a wonderful weekend. Let me know how I can help you, and um, thank you, have a good day.